Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash book. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, here with a coaching legend, Jerry Glanville. And I have to tell you, Coach, I grew up in New Orleans. Grew up a Saints fan. Exactly. Wow. We, we had some battles. We, we had oh, some battles. I'm still upset about that playoff game. So <laughs> That crowd was the best crowd I was ever in a stadium with for the home team. And when we snuck away with that win, you could hear a pin drop. Oh, it was I, so bad, I felt bad we broke their heart. <laughs> But rather theirs than mine. Right, exactly. It worked out for you guys. Now, one thing I remember growing up, uh, watching your defenses play, and that's from, you know, the grits blitz days all throughout your time coaching, it's an aggressive mindset. How important is that mindset defensively? Uh, defense, uh, like life, uh, is an attitude. It's all about your attitude. It's all about... Uh, uh, if you can bring courage and you can bring enthusiasm and you can bring tenacity to the game. So uh, if you ever got a chance to play for me, if you're a little uh, uh, faint at heart, a little bit weak about the striking people, <laughs> we didn't have you around long. Uh, I was blessed to have such good players. I didn't hit anybody. The <laughs> players did all that. The players did the hustling. And I was just fortunate enough to have them on my team. Now, Coach, you mentioned it's a lot like life. If you look at the many different things football teaches you, what would you say football taught you? Well, really, uh, they, I was asked this two days ago, where would you be without football? And really, it'd be scary. It'd really be scary. And uh, I was fortunate. I had a great mama. And my mama was a, uh, a waitress at the big boy at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And she'd take her tips and put on my dresser because I was asleep when she got home. Then I'd get up, she was asleep, but I'd count the tips. And we'd have eight bucks a day to make it. Mm -hmm. And if there was six dollars or four dollars, I'd tell my high school coach what we needed. And he'd get me a job after practice. And I would, some days I'd pump gas, some days I'd make milkshakes, mm -hmm. some days I'd go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And uh, the coaches were so good, and my teammates were so good, and we were able to keep, uh, keep the wolf away from the door at eight bucks a day. That's what we did. <laughs> Well, Coach, I really appreciate you taking time, and I love seeing you out here doing your thing. This is my third year coming, second time seeing you doing this, and it's always a blessing to see you out there continuing to coach, continue to get after it, and but get those guys going. you didn't say that when we beat New Orleans in New Orleans. See, he, <laughs> you used different adjectives for my name. You you didn't say you loved me in those days. <laughs> nah, it, it, was, it was different. You know, it, yeah. was, it was a robbery. It was a fight, man. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, brother. But coach, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.